film called Joe Bell, and uh, it stars Mark Wahlberg. Now, Mark Wahlberg gets a lot of shit for being an actor, maybe that isn't that good of an actor, you know, dramatically. But I have to say, this movie right here took me by surprise because Mark Wahlberg gives an astonishing performance, really, really good. And I'll just give you some background information uh, about this movie that's titled uh, Joe Bell. So Joe Bell tells the intimate and emotional true story of an Oregon father who pays tribute to his gay teenage son, Jaden, embarking on a self-reflective walk across America to speak his heart to heartland citizens about the real and terrifying costs of bullying. So he's this kind of, he's basically a redneck, you know, a rough American, you know, old school, and his son is gay. And in school, he gets bullied for being gay, of course. And the, the film tells an interesting kind of dynamic because it tells, kind of tells what's happening right now, but also flashbacks to when the kid was coming out to his father, when the kid was being bullied in school, how Mark Wahlberg's character reacted to that, how he reacted to him being bullied in school. And then it kind of goes back and forth, um, kind of through time. And then around halfway through this movie, we get to see something terrible that happened, which I won't give away. But look, this film isn't an upbeat, feel-good movie whatsoever. It's very, very heavy. Sometimes it's hard to watch. But I think that Mark Wahlberg, for his performance, to watch it uh, would just be good because he kind of would prove to you that he can nail these kind of performances even though he does the transformers or you know the the big um action-packed movies you know that don't really have much of a plot to it here this movie has a very real plot that i think many people can relate to especially you know homosexual people and uh, maybe parents as well who have to deal with their kids being bullied because they're gay so it's a very heavy film now uh, the director of this, uh, Rinaldo Marcus Green, is doing the Keen Arthur movie that's coming out later this year with Will Smith about Serena Williams and their father, Williams' sister and their father. And you know, this this film's got some really interesting cinematic shots, the way it's the, the way it's shot, uh, kind of the cinematography and stuff like that. You know, it's a very low budget movie, and as I said, this father is walking across America and kind of protest the bullying and to raise awareness about bullying and stuff like that. So there's some nice shots that way. But yeah, it is hard to watch at times. And uh, maybe if you've never gone through something like this, if you're you know, a straight person or you know, you've never had to deal with somebody who is gay being bullied, then maybe you can't relate to this. But I found it very interesting, very kind of just a very heavy movie. It's, it's hard to kind of watch at times, especially near the end. But I think Mark Wahlberg gives a, a great performance. I think the supporting cast is solid enough. But the overall kind of, plot and story is, is generic enough. I kind of I've seen stuff like this before, you know, where somebody's dealing with something something a, a terrible issue like this, uh, of, of bullying. But it didn't really bring anything new to it. It was just kind of carried by Mark Wahlberg's performance. You know, it really, really was. So but I en- I enjoyed watching his performance and I enjoyed kind of somebody who is straight who hasn't had to deal with these kind of issues. And it, it's kind of been, you know, the bullying I have, to, I have to deal with bullying before, and maybe you have as well. Other people have, but I just think it raised awareness awareness about kind of uh, being gay and being bullied about that. So for that, I think it was a good watch. Cool. All right. Have you have you come across this movie in any way? No, I haven't. Um, I've I've seen the poster. That's all I know about it. And now you know I've heard you talk about it. Uh, and I've seen, you know, the rating and reviews, and they're not great at all. Um, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know why, because it has Mark Wahlberg, and the subject material is pretty good as well. Um, the poster looks interesting. It looks like an awards movie kind of thing, but I don't know what happened there. Then, <laughs> did you yeah, find well, anything the, the- to that? Yeah, well, like it's not, it doesn't do anything groundbreaking in, in, in that aspect. You know, we've probably seen movies like this before, but it's not a terrible movie. Uh, it has a critic rating of 38% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is a, what's that, a rotten score. But the audience score is 78%. So the audiences liked it. They went to go see this movie. Critics didn't. Maybe because it's Mark Wahlberg. I don't know. But the movie wasn't anything bad or anything. It was shot lovely. Um, interesting subject matter. 
and Mark Wahlberg give a, a pretty good performance. So I, I don't see the hate towards it whatsoever. It's not a, an Oscar-winning film, but it's also not a terrible film. It's a, probably above average film. But I think the subject matter is more important than the actual quality of the movie. So it's good that a movie like this brings that type of awareness, I think. That's cool. It's it's It kind of feels interesting to me. So um, I like these kinds of movies, uh, which, you know, um, I usually don't like the drama genre, but some of the subject matter interests me. So maybe I'll check it out. It's It sounds interesting to me from what you've said. Yeah, definitely do. It's only an hour and 34 minutes, so you could breeze through it pretty quickly. Cool.